What is up everybody? My name is Shaq if you're new to this channel and if not, welcome back. So what we're doing today is we're gonna be showing you how to edit like Firsty. I'll have his Instagram link down below if you wanna check out his work as well as a free download to the preset to this video pretty much. Quick little disclaimer. I am by no means telling you guys to edit exactly like him or to copy him. I am just creating this video as a tool for you guys to use so you can get an idea of how to create that kind of moody, muted greens and blue kind of look where they're the dominant colors and it's just kind of ah, dope. I don't know how else to explain it because it's just super dope. So let's hop onto his feed and take a look at what we have to work with. So if we take a look at his Instagram page, we can see that he has a lot of blues and greens on his pictures. If you look at this one here, see that his greens are very like desaturated-esque kind of look as well as there's the blues and the highlights here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop right into Lightroom and we're going to start doing this edit. So the way I like to start this is I have a good visual representation of what his, what his kind of picture looks like here. So what I'll do for now is I'll keep this image in my mind while I'm editing and I'll close it. So as well as closing down here just real quick, get that real estate going. So what we're we'll start with is we're going to start with dropping this white balance down to a very blue kind of look. I think 3,800 ish should do the trick. You can start to see that these greens are coming into the right tone as well as this blue here and the blue coming off of the waterfall and all that fun stuff. So now that I've gotten that white balance kind of nailed in, uh, actually I think I'm going to tweak this magenta-ish a little bit here because here it's a little bit too blue and eh, I'm not vibing it so I'll bring that down just a bit to make it a bit more green. I think one should do the trick there. All right. so. Next up, we have our exposure, highlights, all that fun stuff. What I want to do is I want to get all the details back in here to kind of get that very, you know, crisp look of everything being like tack sharp, like in you know, kind of this picture here, this, this video, sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down to about, I think, 80, mm, around 88, negative 88, kind of looks absolutely terrible right now. but. That'll change in just a bit. We'll compensate by bringing the exposure back up to about, I don't know, 0.2. That should do it. And then we'll bring this, uh, what's it called, contrast up as well. I think 18 should do the trick. So now you can kind of see that it's a little bit moody, but it's, it's very dark and nothing is really like punchy to you. So what I like to do to kind of add that is flatten it out by bringing the shadows back in. I think 100 should get all the details back and kind of start establishing what's going on in the shot a bit more than before. If you take a look at it before and after, boom, boom. And then this is where you start to play with it a bit more. Bring those whites up to kind of make it punchier. Bring those blacks down a bit. I think around this should do the trick. Clarity is what's gonna make it punch like crazy. So you can go overboard and go all the way up, but I think that's a little bit overkill. So I'll keep it around minus 11 or so. And if you really, this is where you're going to get that desaturated kind of look with these two tabs right here. And at first it might look like a little bit of an overkill, but when we go back into the HSL tab, it's going to come back into play. So saturation, you want to drop that down a bit and bring that vibrance up because if you take a look, you see the vibrant vibrance is what's getting those greens in and these blues in here. So you don't want to overkill it. You want to have it be very subtle. And I think around a 16 or 20 should do the trick. So we'll leave it at 20. And saturation wise, this is completely desaturated. This is a little saturated. I think around minus, I don't know, 66, 60 ish should do it. You know what? Let's leave it around minus 50, 51. No, I'm bringing it to 66. 62. There we go. Let's just leave it at that. Now, here we go. A big part of bringing the moodiness into this picture is right here on the tone curves. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start by making your three anchors, just as if you'd be making a standard S curve, and see how, as I pull the bottom up, it's gonna fade it out a bit. He has a lot of kind of faded looks in his pictures. If you take a look at the reference here, uh, here you can see that it's kind of faded as well here. So this is obviously overkill in the fading. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it just a little bit of a fade like that. I'm going to take this and bring it down to kind of get that mood set. Bring this down just a bit. As well as this. Just basically bring everything here down just a very little bit to go right under the curve. Actually, you know what? 
Bring those highlights up just a bit like that. Make it like a mini kind of S curve S kind of thing. Not exactly an S curve, but kind of an S curve. Next up, HSL tab. This is where I like to make the magic happen. I want to start with the lightness here, the luminance. I want to bring that up, the greens up a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blues here and I'm going to bring those down just a little. I think around minus 20 should do the trick. And the same thing with these kind of aquas here. I'm going to bring those down just a touch. Around 14 should do the trick. Uh, here, I'm just going to drop these guys a random amount for now. This is what starts to come into play when you have pictures with yellows in it. In this case, we don't have it. So I think this should do the trick. Just like that, I think is about right. It's a bit lower, perfect. Now the saturation is where you're gonna get all of the fun stuff to get working. So we'll pull this guy back up here. Oopsies. We'll pull this guy right back up here. So if you take a look, you can see that it's very kind of muted. So you don't wanna have it too saturated. What I think I did before was I put this down to right here, minus 20-ish, minus 16. Yeah, that should do it. And as well as these here, I find this a little too saturated. So we'll bump this one a little bit and we'll bump the blues even more. So you can kind of get that really, really like muted look where it's, everything's desaturated, but you can still see the colors on it. It's not like a black and white picture. So right here is where we have the juice of the edit. I'm gonna bring these oranges up to about 74. So they're a bit more yellow and not orange. About here. And the same thing with the yellows, I'm going to crank those all the way up so that they're more towards the green. So if I have any yellows in the picture, they're all going to be green. And then we're going to hop down. We're going to leave the green as is because I, I like the way it looks. Uh, it feels kind of consistent to me. And what I'll do is I'll actually drop these blues down just a touch because if you take a look here, you know, oops, wrong buttons. You have them kind of, eh. You add that blue back in by prop, 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 propping that down to about minus 34. Should do the trick, I think, at least. So already you see a big difference for before and after. Now to pretty much end this edit off, all I do is I'll add in a tone, uh, sorry, a split toning, where you wanna get that blue into the highlights. Think about minus, uh, sorry, yeah, 224 should do the trick. About there, and the same thing with the shadows, you wanna get a, like a greenish blue. And then like, something like this should do the trick. I'll bring this up to about seven. Take a look at before and after here. So yeah, you can see that those greens kind of get riched up in here. And then we'll bring the blues into here. The last thing I like to do is add some sharpening. So to do this, what I like to do is I don't want everything to be in, like sharpened because if I, if I leave it like this, everything's gonna be sharpened and it's kind of gross looking. So what I'll do is I'll crank that up all the way by holding Alt or Option, depending on if you're a Mac or PC. I'll bring it up to about 100 just because it's a landscape and I want only the fine, like the sharpest details in focus. Crank that up to whatever. That should be good enough for the sharpening and you know, it's, it's nothing too fancy for this. Uh, another thing what I want to add is a little bit of a vignette, a minus one, it should do the trick. And then to save this, all you have to do is go here, type in whatever you want to name it, first the preset. I already have it saved, so not going to bother. Just to so show you, it's not going to be exactly the same as the preset that I'm giving you, because I just recreated it, and you know I spent a bit of time creating the preset for, for you guys that I, I kind of tweaked up. So that's the difference between the two. Let's get that full screened up again. So this is the difference. This is the one I made on screen with you guys. And this is the one I made on my own time. You can see that this one's a little bit more desaturated and kind of getting those tones a little bit better than what I did on screen. So let's get out of this view and compare it with this bad boy. You can see it's a bit closer to what it should be. So just for the sake of Instagram, let's get that Instagram crop out of four by five. Something like that should do the trick. Honestly, like I find this is a pretty, pretty banging preset. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's take a look at what this looks like on other pictures. So we have this one here. Boom. TikTok.
already off the boat, like off the bat, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Maybe I'll just change the white balance just a touch, you know, bring it over a little bit more like that. It's pretty much done. Maybe bring this up just a touch, bring the highlights down, whites down. Actually, whites, whites can stay where they were. Like it's, it's already good to go. Here, this one here, boom, smack it on. This one here just has a little bit too much blue, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, like that, it's not bad, but I like to bring that blue up just a touch. As well as the magentas back in. Oopsies. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be nature photos to make this kind of preset work. Like here's another picture of just like, I'm guessing it's a parking lot. And if you want to take a look, boom. That's, that's all it is, you know? It, it works on these kind of pictures as well. So I'm going to be leaving this preset down in the description below. So to enjoy them and let me know in the comments of what you think about them. If you like them or whatnot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.